side to play some video games and party hard. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Well, my name is Andrew WK, and I'm very happy to be in one of my favorite places in the whole world. That's Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, I've never been here, and I'm, you know, I'm not proud of that. I wish I had found out about this place before. I mean, holy smokes, there's a lot of great games here, uh, pinball, video games, and good vibes, good party vibes. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to play the Simpsons arcade game with Andrew WK. I've been a Simpsons fan since I was like five. Yeah, it's the only arcade game I've ever wanted to own in my entire life, and anytime I come across it, I have to play it. My favorite Simpsons character is Homer, but only in the game. I like Homer's mom in real life on the TV show. I actually have her tattooed on my leg, her mugshot. I have played the Simpsons arcade game. That's actually uh, an arcade game that you'll find oftentimes in uh, unusual places, not like arcades, like uh, uh, airports. Uh, hotels, uh, certainly uh, gas stations or truck stops, and uh, it's an unusual game. I mean, there's, there's probably never really been a, a video game quite like the Simpsons game. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I, I don't mean that just you know, for this game. I mean that in my entire life. I'm sort of clueless when it comes to uh, just not being dead. It's sort of weird. I think we do it pretty good though, right? I mean, I now, this is a real emboss here. Yeah, this is not this is not fun. Oh. It's a bit nightmarish, you know, which is very dissimilar to most video games. Most games want to draw you in to a fantasy world that's appealing and exciting and the Simpsons realm is a place that most folks dare not tread. <laughs> I appreciate the effort that you put in. It's taught me a lot as well. So you should feel, you know, not that ashamed of all this. My name is Tanner. I'm going to play Andrew WK at Galaxia right over there. Oh, I've played it a couple of times. I'm incredibly lousy. I'm not sure what my high score will be because I don't remember how it's scored. Is it in like the hundreds or the thousands or the millions? But I would say probably like 42. You said it, not me. All right, here we go. Let's have some fun. Come on now. Take you guys out one at a time. Ah, you motherfucking piece of shit! God damn it! I've never played the game Galaxian before, as, as far as I can remember. But my um, this is an interesting tidbit. My uh, uncle, my mom's sister's ex-husband, he actually worked for Atari, and I have many fond memories of going to uh, his garage where he had uh, so many great, great, great games. Uh, you know, very early versions of, you know, Centipede and classic arcade games and then sort of, you know, later games as they evolved. Uh, and I, I imagine that maybe this, this, this game uh, occupies sort of a, a similar format uh, or visual style as the great classic Atari games. I mean, they, they're always fun to play, and they always deliver. Man, nearly beat level one. That was exciting. That was, uh, Very close to beating level one. That really was. Thank you. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm going to be playing Andrew WK in Area 51. Am I any good at Area 51? Yes. I'm pretty good at a lot of things that explode. Area 51 explodes a lot. So I feel like I'm pretty good at Area 51 because I like explosions and making things go boom. In my time, I've killed a lot of aliens, like probably like four or five aliens. That's a lot for aliens. Yes, Area 51 is another game that's often found, again, in un more unusual spots, uh, airports, bookstores, uh, 
rest stops, your friend's dad's rec room in his basement. I mean, this is a, a classic game, but very strange. Um, there's an alien aspect, obviously. There's a Roswell, New Mexico connection. Uh, there's a very upsetting, you know, paranormal vibe with these aliens and the, the way they're portrayed. I believe that, uh, you know, the majority of aliens are probably, you know, here to spread peace and, uh, and party joy. But these aliens are quite upset about something. And, uh, they need to learn how to party. <laughs> My name is Lily. And I'm going to play Street Fighter with Andrew WK. I've seen my favorite Street Fighter character is Ken because he's dashing and handsome and strong and he's from America. I really don't play video games. The last time I played a video game was probably Mario Kart. I was probably eight years old and my brother smashed me to death and I cried and I told my mom. My mom made me play Monopoly instead. And I still lost. Well, I'm a big Street Fighter fan and I can't really discern between all the different versions. Street Fighter 1, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, but it has who, 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 you can, oh, you can, ba, 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 ba. Uh, uh, is there a character named Dalsum? Okay, if there's a character named Dalsum, then I have played this game. Uh, I'm just here to have some fun and play some video games. <laughs> playing Mortal Kombat with Andrew WK. Sub-Zero, because he just kicks ass. I played a little bit of Sega, a little bit of the arcade, but not a whole, whole lot. Sub-Zero. But it's very it's like Tucker and I'm gonna be playing Andrew WK in WrestleMania. Uh, my favorite character in WrestleMania is probably gonna be Razor Ramon. I usually kill it with Razor Ramon. I'm not too good with knowing his special move. I'm a big button smasher. But I know he just gets sweaty and he starts just slapping everyone. The only game that I, I've ever played in the squared circle is probably uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. So uh Wrestling games, I don't think I've ever, I, I, you know, it seems too complicated. There's too many moves, too many characters, too many variables, too many plot lines, almost too much stimulation. But I'm excited to, to check this out because this will be the first time I've ever played this game. God damn it! Excuse me. Gosh darn it, that was uh. <laughs> I know, I mean, I'm a goofball out there. I'm not doing the best I can with these skills. I don't know if I can do it. 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 I don't know
like this. I don't want that to be can't believe it. Why can't that be? Pop up! Pop up! Why does it do jump? Pop up! No, don't I'm pop up that out. way. No, popping up that way doesn't... Ah, oh, jeez. What's that going on? <laughs> you know what? Well won. Well done. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry I have more to offer you. I, I, Holy smokes! I, 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 I'm, I'm delighted. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm definitely entertained and amused. I'm a bit embarrassed. To be honest, I'm a little humiliated. Uh, I don't want to say discouraged. I'm just, I'm just blown away. A lot of these games I played so many times, but years ago, and I think I did a pretty bad job back in the day when I first played them. And I would like to think I did even a worse job playing them now. So it goes to show, life experience means nothing when it comes to video games. Video games are never not party. I mean, they're always fun, they're always enjoyable, of course, entertaining, and also there's a festivity that goes along with it. So get your friends together, play some video games, just feel how good it is to be alive, and you know, I'm just happy I got to play some games myself, no matter how poorly I did. And that goes for you. If you don't win, that's not the point. Play the game. Everybody play the game! Party hard! This is your time to play! This is your time!